Today, we will talk about what does ceteris paribus mean in economics. Ceteris paribus, literally, holding other things constant, is a common Latin phrase that is generally translated to, all else being equal. It is a dominant assumption in mainstream economic thinking and a shorthand indication of the effect of one economic variable on another, provided all other variables remain constant. In the fields of economics and finance, ceteris paribus is often used when making arguments about cause and effect. It allows economists to isolate the effect of a single variable by assuming all other variables remain constant. Ceteris paribus assumptions are used to make economic predictions and build economic models. It helps economists describe relative tendencies in markets and to isolate the impact of a single variable. Ceteris paribus is at the heart of nearly all mainstream microeconomic and macroeconomic models. It is used to create an abstract model where all variables are held constant except for the one being tested, allowing economists to make predictions and transform market tendencies into mathematical progressions. In economics, ceteris paribus is often used to isolate the impact of a single variable. For example, all things being equal, if the price of milk increases, people will buy less milk. This assumption ignores other factors, focusing solely on the impact of price on demand. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Ceteris paribus is a Latin phrase that generally means all other things being equal. 2. In economics, it acts as a shorthand indication of the effect one economic variable has on another, provided all other variables remain the same. 3. Many economists rely on ceteris paribus to describe relative tendencies in markets and to build and test economic models. 4. The difficulty with ceteris paribus is the challenge of holding all other variables constant in an effort to isolate what is driving change. 5. In reality, one can never assume all other things being equal. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.